Man, that ice cream is good. Yeah, yeah man. Hey, you know what time it is? Yeah, it's time to watch Trucker Rudy. We gotta go watch Trucker Rudy. Yeah, let's go. Good morning, good morning ladies and gentlemen. Are you guys ready to roll? Well, if you guys are, then let's get out of here. All right, here we are cruising along this little uh, highway you love and up here. And we got a question for you guys. What is it? Your, what is your favorite vehicle? Is it mini or is it a coupe or, or a van or a truck? Like, what, what is your favorite Vehicle. There you go. And why? Yeah, and leave it down there in the comments down there below. Yeah, that would be an interesting conversation. Yep, or is it a semi truck? Yeah. Or what kind? Yeah, you never know, eh? Because we're going to go to the truck show today, so, uh, or this week, so. That could be an interesting question. What kind of truck is your favorite truck? Or that, yeah. Yeah. Well, look at that. That sunrise there, or that sun is going to pop there any minute up there. It's nice, bright, and early. We got up there just after 6.30 this morning. 6.37, exactly. Yeah. Did our things, cleaned up in there a little bit, put everything back to where we wanted it, did our log book, and here we are, ready to roll. And we are. Yeah, I can see that sun through the bush there already a little bit. Looks like it's gonna be a gorgeous day out here today. At least that's what I think. <clears throat> what do you guys think? From the looks of the sun today and the clouds and the sky and everything, what do you guys think? Is it going to be a fantastic day today? I sure think so. Yeah. We're going to get us some miles in today. I don't know we'll get any crazy miles in today, but we got to do some miles in order to make our delivery, right? Yep. Gonna make one pit stop for sure, and that's gonna be at a uh, Walmart somewhere. I'm gonna do a little shopping in there. Probably get us some uh, fruits, some other stuff, a bunch of other stuff, and then we'll uh, slowly start making our way our way where we gotta be at. Yeah, you guys see that? That's on the start to pop through over that bush up there now. Absolutely gorgeous sunrise this morning. At least that's what I would say. It's a beautiful sunrise. Fortunately, we got to make this turn up here so you will no longer see that sun probably. Uh, maybe later on in the day, but... It's popping up. Yep, it's popping right up there by the bushes. We're going to make this turn on to 72 Minnesota. There we go. Oh, that's it. What's that? Uh, do you guys like seeing the sun go up or down? Which one is your favorite? Yeah. Continue on this road for 60 miles. I would like seeing, I, I like seeing the sun go down more. I don't know why, I just, I just like seeing it go down more than up, so, especially if it's like over a lake, that, that's, that's my, uh, oh, that's beautiful, yeah. yeah, that for sure is beautiful, yeah, got a little chilly here again overnight, 
went down below freezing point. It was like minus three this morning, which is not bad, but uh, yeah, had to raise the temperature on the uh, on the uh, bunk heater uh, a little bit. Last night it was kind of warm in there, and then uh, overnight it started getting cold a couple of times. So had to turn it up, uh, turn it up a little bit to get a little warmer. But I didn't notice anything. I just no. slept. You had a good night's sleep. Yeah, that's good. So, anyways, we'll continue on cruising along here. Thank you for uh, riding along with us today. It's going to be a fantastic journey this week. I think you guys are going to see some awesome videos. Not just from at the truck show. Also from uh, us being together and uh, stuff like that. So it's going to make it for a great show, I think. We are cruising along here on the back roads here in Minnesota. We're on uh, Minnesota 46. That's right. And what did you say? This stretch was very beautiful. Very beautiful. All right. I, I don't know why, but I just like seeing these types of trees on the sides of the road like this. And, it, and it's green. Yeah, they are nice and green, that's for sure. That, that's the nicest part. And yep. And you feel like it's summer and then you're like, woo. Yes, that's right. Yep, I've been here many times on this stretch of highway. It's pretty much, I take this highway pretty much every time I cross Roseau. That's right. But it can also be dangerous when it's high winds. I've been on this stretch one time where it was uh, high winds. And these big big trees they fall over the road if it's really windy yeah that happened to me one time luckily I didn't get hurt but it was scary that's that's for sure but yeah it is absolutely gorgeous day out here today that's for sure yeah before we saw two deers crossing the road that looks really cool yeah luckily we could see them coming up running up to the highway right yeah so we were able to slow her down and ran right across the highway two of them yeah that was interesting yeah for me at least i mean yeah that, that's never happened to me there you go yeah we'll continue on cruising along here in these beautiful scenery areas and see what kind of goodies we'll be able to show you today right yeah we'll try to record as much as possible today yeah that's the plan anyways i'm going to be coming up on a uh little resort here pretty soon <clears throat> looks like they're closed right now well, that's to be expected still kind of cold overnight so uh, I think most of the lakes are probably still frozen if not still really cold yep there's usually a lot of people here in summer but not right now yeah, looks like the most oh no that lake is still frozen up there a little bit of here is not but further down it's all frozen solid yet yep yeah seeing a lake like that makes me really excited about fishing yes we love fishing and camping hopefully we can do uh, some again this summer I'm sure we will yeah I'm sure we will. Yeah. How many of you guys do fishing? And camping and stuff like that. I know we love it and we do it 
pretty much every year. I don't think we've ever missed a year yet. So, where we have uh, at least gone once or twice. I had some years where it's been very little, but well, most of my trucking career it's been very little, but hopefully we can change that one day. One day, one year. Not just one day. Yeah. Hopefully we can change that and uh, we can go fishing more often. Well, almost, almost looks like some of these trees are starting to get green too, eh? Some of the other ones that are not green in winter. Yeah. Yeah, that's awesome. That means spring is here. That's fantastic. Yeah, I'm surprised. I didn't even see much water in the side of the ditches, so... Yeah, no, most of that is gone. snow here and there but that's it so let's continue on rolling along here and uh, we'll show you what we can well ladies and gentlemen the scale master has decided to have the scale open yeah that's what it seems like it so we'll open up the window here a little bit so if he wants to scream at us we can hear it right yeah Let's see what he's got to say. We'll just slow her down here a little bit so that way if he wants to scale us properly, he can. Let's see what he got to say today. He's throwing the red light at us. Let's see. Alright, he's giving us the green light. He just wants to check our brake lights. Make sure our brake lights are working, right? Yeah. Well, we checked that yesterday when we left Snipe up. We checked our brake lights and uh, looked at it a little bit this morning and looked like they were working, so... Uh, yeah, here we are. In 400 feet, turn right off. Coming in toward... Duluth, Minnesota. That's right. I kind of figured that he was going to throw the red light at me. But that's alright. Yeah, even this local guy is going to pull in here. That looks like a really old trailer. Trailer axles way too far to the back in my opinion too. But maybe it's a load up here in Minnesota, I don't know. I don't think it's it is, but then again, what do I know? Every state has got their own uh, rules and regulations. Two miles. Laws. To the right on US2. Yes RJ, we will do that. We shall do that. Ah, there's a pick em up truck there with uh, looks like a whole bunch of snowmobiles on there. I don't know where he wants to go snowmobiling at this time of the year. He might have to try to turn around and start going north instead of going south. <laughs> but yeah. So the scale let us go, no problem. Let's get on down the road. Alrighty, ladies and gentlemen, here we are going down US 53. That's right, we got about 68 miles to go. Now we'll be in Rice Lake, Wisconsin. We got a Walmart up there. That's where we plan on making a bit of a pit stop. See if we can. Uh, Find all the items that we're looking for and we'll do a little shopping in there. So we can have a good barbecue and uh, Yeah, we need to get show. us a grill yet. Yep. All that stuff. But yeah, we stopped there in uh, Superior, Wisconsin at the holiday truck stop there. 
That is a bite to eat there and had our half an hour break off there, which we could have done up there in Rice Lake, but uh, oh, he was getting hungry and all that. We needed to use the restroom and that yeah, was already over, well, not over, but it was already four hours worth of driving that we did, so uh, figured, you know what, yeah, it's close enough to take a break and check the tires all that stuff do all our normal stuff but uh, yeah I think you'll probably have noticed we have taken the uh, CB handle down so you guys can see my son a little bit see this thing was hanging right here so now we are taking it down just so you can see him a little bit better and it won't be quite as distracting maybe I was looking in the video there yesterday uh, evening and it is a little bit distracting when you have that thing hanging and waving up and down all the time. So we uh, took it down just to record our videos. So you guys can see him. You see him over there? <laughs> yeah. What else you got to say? Uh, when we uh, went to eat, we went to the driver's lounge. Uh, which was sort of uh, a part away from everything else and uh, they had a TV there and they had a wooden truck there and uh, uh, Scott or Scotty uh, I'm not sure which one it is but uh, he had put uh, sugar jukeboxes sugar jukebox cards and sugar Rudy's cards so those two cards from the two guys on the shelf or table or whatever you want to call it uh, with the wood truck on there so uh, yeah that was cool that was nice to see yep that's for sure absolutely beautiful day out here eh? oh yeah yeah that's what I thought too nice and by the way guys that new scale up there in Superior for those of you that ever travel through here that new scale is now officially open we were lucky to go right through it, or not right through it, but we were lucky to uh, just bypass it because it had the closed sign on it. But when we were rolling by it, we saw a whole bunch of trucks in there. They had been open just prior to us getting there, but because so many trucks were traveling that route, uh, they were lined up far enough to where they had decided to close the scale and scale all of those trucks before they would reopen it. So. Uh, so yeah, we were quite uh, quite happy to just <laughs> take the bypass, or, or not really bypass, just continue straight on our road. We didn't have to go in, but yeah, for those of you that travel up here, just remember that scale is now officially open, and there's that's a brand new scale. So you uh, you can bet your money they're gonna want to uh, make some money off of that now because that cost them a lot of money to rebuild that. So they're going to be open quite steadily and they're probably uh, not going to hesitate to hand out tickets but we got a phone call that we got to take so we'll be right back. Well guys, the shopping has completed. That's right. What did we all buy? Uh, <laughs> a pack of 24 Coke. You got to yes. talk louder and then tell them what we got. Um, we got uh, a pack of 24, can uh, 24 cans of uh, coke, uh, charcoal, uh, a grill, or... Which is right there. Yeah, right here. Uh, can't reach it. Uh, we got us bananas. We got us 10 bottles of floor polish. Or Why do we need floor polish? Because we uh, have one floors. Where? At home. Oh, yeah, but they don't know that. Okay. <laughs> um, we bought two uh, memory cards, right? Yeah. Two memory cards. Um, or the GoPro so we can record a lot of footage there at the truck shop. Yeah. And uh, uh, we bought a camera camera bag for the GoPros so we can so it's easier to bring around. Yeah, uh, so we can carry the all our memory
memory cards and stuff like that when we are over there at the truck show so it's easier to carry it around um, we bought a brush for the grill yeah so we can clean the grill when we barbecue Oh, uh, we bought a candle yeah uh, we got an onion we got green pepper red pepper we got a garlic we got potatoes yeah we got oh, potato and we got uh, aluminum foil aluminum foil yeah and we got us a, a cable from my microphone so I can plug it in and have a longer distance of a mic extension cord yep extension cord so that way if I plug it into my computer and I do a live show I can actually hold it up close to me or or whatever I want you know so that's fantastic I don't know we bought lots of stuff yeah we bought fire starters so we can uh, start the fire or start uh, the charcoal to get them on fire all kinds of goodies that was expensive too yeah 328 bucks and well the grill alone was 120 no actually it was like 95 I think because we got 25% no. off oh was that 25% off yeah well, we can check that on the bill yet see how much we got it for but uh, yeah so I think we got pretty much everything that we need I think we're set we're good to go so uh, yeah all that's left to do now is get over there <laughs> we got to do some miles yeah we got 737 miles to go yet to our final destination that where we got to deliver yet but well we got well it's three o'clock in the afternoon right now and we can probably drive another three four hours tonight yet maybe even more than that oh yeah and uh, we got all day tomorrow and then we got uh, well till 10 o'clock on Wednesday yet to deliver this load so we got all kinds of time <laughs> yeah we might go up to uh, Portage Wisconsin and get us a good truck wash over there yeah, that might sound like a good plan right yeah that sounds nice that's what I figured yeah so we uh, should be good yeah so we got us all kinds of goodies yeah that was a really big walmart though a what oh really? a big walmart yes and they did have all kinds of gopro equipment there yes so if jukebox ever comes up this area you want to find some gopro equipment they had the gopros they had all kinds of accessories right oh yeah so they had pretty much the whole nine yard they had extended batteries cases you name it, they pretty much had it. Even uh, things we didn't know what, what they were, but they were still for GoPro. Yep, they yeah. had all kinds of cool items in there, so that's fun. That's good to know, though, you know, like in, in the future, if I ever come through, well, I come through here all the time, and if I all of a sudden need something for my GoPro, I can go in there and I can get it. So that's fantastic. I love it. No, I, I figured I would get me two extra memory cards because uh, we're going to be recording a whole lot of stuff. So that way when one memory card is full, I can just swap the memory cards and we're good to go. I'll be uh, charging up my, uh, my GoPros all the time. And I'll also be... Uh, well, apparently that bus goes back and forth every half an hour. So uh, I can pretty much, you know... If one battery dies, I can take a trip back and go back to the truck and charge it again and whatever. But uh, that's the plan for right now anyways. Is, uh, I have two extended batteries for, for both of my cameras. I got an extra, extra battery. I got them both on the cameras, but we will mainly be using the GoPro 4. So we'll take the extended battery off of this one. We'll take that along and then... We should be good to go for a good while. At least that's what I think. Yeah. So, uh, so yeah. Well, that was a lot of fun. and We'll have to figure out how to put that grill together. 
and probably take it apart again when we leave but uh, other than that we'll be uh, we'll be having a lot of fun that's for sure yeah so with that being said let's get out of here and let's see what else we'll be able to show you for the rest of the day all right ladies and gentlemen we are done for today we have made it as far as portage wisconsin right and uh yeah so we are getting ready to go to bed here he's really tired i think he didn't sleep very well last night and so we're gonna go call it a day we'll close the show here and uh we had us a good dinner and uh yeah so i think we're just gonna go hang it up here and We'll go to bed and then we'll continue on with our journey tomorrow. That's the plan anyways. We'll probably get up early in the morning and get out of here. So that way we can beat the rush hour traffic tomorrow. Well, I don't think we'll be in a rush hour by the time we get there. But anyways, that's about all we got, right? Yeah. Anyways, as I was trying to say or finish my video, my camera died on me here so and it looks like i put the new battery on here from the other camera it's not got a whole lot of juice on it either so uh i guess we're going to make this real quick so hopefully you guys enjoyed today's vlog so we'll uh see you guys here again tomorrow so have a good one everybody and we'll catch you on the next one trucker rudy signing out behind me that day is gonna come